Monsieur le commissaire wants to see you. Me? Whatever he wants to see me about is not me. Uh, come along now. It is important. Yes, but... All right. I'll come. And on the hill, you can see the magnificent Notre Dame de la Garde. Well, uh, that's as far as we go for 20 francs, ladies and gents. But for another... Ten... Say, hey, Joe. So they got you at last, have they? <laughs> so you better put the braces on him, Sergeant. Don't worry. It don't pay to take out any jewelry when you're around. <laughs> As I was saying, ladies and gents, for another ten francs, I'll show you the famous Chateau d'If. Entrez. Is 
this the man? Monsieur. Now, my friend, there is a matter of a missing child, the little boy of uh, Monsieur and Madame. Oh, yes. The inspector here has advised me to send for you. Why me? I don't know anything about it. No, 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 but uh, we fear this boy has been kidnapped. It is probably one of the gangs down in the Joliet. Now, you know them all, I understand. Uh, Duval, Le Gros, Martinet, eh? Sure, I know them. They're no friends of mine. Now then, listen to me. You know how difficult it is for the police to get information in these places. In the ditch, they are all uh, like that, n'est-ce pas? Well, it has been suggested that you can help us. What, me? Help the police? Mm, well, you can do perhaps what they cannot do. The people in these quarters do not regard you as a stranger. Very well. Among the gossip of the bistros, you may hear something, one little word. I don't like the idea of that. It's none of my business. I say, we'd be most awfully grateful. It's rather getting us down, you know. It'll be worth your while, of course. Reward and all that. Yes, 5,000 pounds. Or francs, or whatever they are. Oh, please do all you can, quickly. All right, lady, I don't know exactly what I can do, but I'll try. Thank you. You can count on us for any help. Well, there's one thing I thought I'd never be. It's a policeman. Mind you, I wouldn't do this in the ordinary way, but... Well, if it's a kid, that's different. All right, I'll see what I can do then. One moment. Uh, you know what you're looking for, don't you? Sure, a little boy. And when I find him, I'll bring him right here. Yes, but... Uh, how do you know what he looks like? That's right. What does he look like, ma'am? Uh, here's a description. And don't forget, there's 50,000 francs if you find him. Don't you worry. I heard. Uh, and don't forget, nobody must know what you are doing. Otherwise, it'd be useless. It's all right, mister. I won't tell nobody. Not even if they ask me. Joe! Well, put it there, me old china. How did you get away with it, hey? Get away with what? Whatever you've done, you sure lucky to get out of there so quick. What do you mean? I haven't done anything. Oh, come off it. Come off it. Who paid the bail? I don't know what you fellas are talking about. <laughs> I suppose those police gentlemen were just taking you along to a tea party, eh? Well, we didn't have any tea. They just wanted to talk to me about something very serious. Yes, I know. I've had a few serious blinking talks with them myself. Come on out with it. What's the trouble? There's no trouble, I tell you, but... I can't talk to you about it. Now, Joe, you don't want to upset yourself about what you've done. They can't ask you no question that we don't know the answers. That's right. We'll back you up. Now, come on. Let's work it out. What's the alibi? Oh, no. You boys have got this all wrong. They've got nothing against me. I can't tell you what it was, but they just wanted me to help them out. They didn't want you to split nothing on us, did they? I tell you, it's got nothing to do with you. Sorry I can't say no more, but the chief just told me not to talk to anybody about it. Now, you shut up, Corny. Wait till he gets measured for his uniform. You say gospel. You ain't gonna be no policeman, is you, Joe? No, of course not. There's something that's got him beat. So they called me in. That's all. <laughs> I'll get him. You getting paid for it? Yeah, I might. Lots of dough, too. Does that mean we ain't gonna have no fun no more? No, of course not. But listen, fellas. When we're knocking around, I want you to keep your eyes and ears open. What for? Well, I told you. I can't tell you. Oh, I see. Well, if we hear about something what we don't know nothing about, we'll let you know. I don't quite understand this. Well, don't let on I told you. That's all. Now, Corny, you keep your mouth shut. What's the idea? 
Every time you see a kid, you act as though you've gone scatty. Yeah, anyone would think you was after doing a bit of kidnapping. Shh. Don't say anything about kidnapping, you'll give it all away. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. So it's something to do with kidnapping, eh, Joe? I've told you I can't say anything about it. If anybody was to get wise as to what I'm after, I wouldn't get anywhere. You is looking for a kid then, ain't you? Who told you that? Oh, not you, Joe. Not you, my lad. Just a bit of a clever deducting on our part. Come on now. What kid is he? Well, the police told me to keep it to myself. But since you seem to know all about it, I'll let you in on it. But don't forget, we got to keep it dark. It's an English boy. His father and his mother came over on one of those boats out there, and the very first night it was in dock, the little fellow was pinched. Well, now, the police have an idea that some of the boys down in the ditch have got him. I'm going to stick up for a lot of dough before they pass him over. And the mother's scared stiff. The little kid's going to get hurt. And they've asked me to see what I can do to help find the boy. That's what it's all about. Mr. Joe Blinking Sherlock, chief of the Lost Property Department. Well, after all, it's the only kid they've got, and it does seem tough. And there's 50,000 francs reward, too. Anyway, I said I was going to do it. 50,000 francs? Come on, Corny. Oh, I'm following. Messieurs et mesdames, prouve mon jeu de clameur, le plus nouvel réclameur de ces nouveaux délits. Tous disent qu'il y a mon jeu, leur en goût étrange, pourtant c'est comme un songe, au bout des ans, mes fils, voici les bonnes cacahuètes. Est-ce qu'ils pensent qu'enfin jouer mon jeu commence Voici les bonnes cacahuètes. Tout le monde couvrira tout à coup. Qu'elles sont spécialement faites à son goût. Savoureuse, plus que viande comme vous aimez, recevoir de cacahuètes. Oh, voulez-vous And they are peanuts, my English friend, to you. Ask for no heaven-sent wonder Like love that's eternal and true Such love may fill every novel but still you're in luck if it happens to you Often it's just one more blunder To let this mad dream even start So when it's done be contented With one perfect moment To keep in your heart One such a little thing to ask But it helps a bit to mask A heartache One kiss Just to treasure through the days After he has said your ways must part What though your romance becomes an ember Secret places of your heart. Be there, George. Did you see him? No natural man don't do that. Milk, wasn't it? Yes, milk. Not for himself, though. I'll tell you what that's for. A kid. Come on. What the hell do you guys want? Get out of here. Wait a minute. We've been watching you all evening. You've got someone eating in there. No, I haven't. What are you taking food in there for? Yeah, and slicking up them stairs like a kidnapper. Kidnapper? What are you talking about? Get out of the way. We've gone in that door. I say you're not. Awful anxious to keep us out, aren't you? 
What's in there is no business of yours. That's just where you're on cocky. It is our business. A big husky like you ought to be ashamed of yourself for what you've done. You guys can button on things that don't concern you. You're asking for trouble. And you'll get it. You're not going in there. Come on, boys. We're in. Come on, boys. Hold it, Cocky. Hold it. It's a lie, Joe. Sit his head, Cocky. That's what I'm doing. Ow! Get off of me with you. Get me again for that. Get off of me with you. See, fellas, see what I found. <laughs> and he ain't the one in the photo, neither. <laughs> Where did it, Gregory? You guys will knock your blocks off. <laughs> privacy in your own private apartments. All right, all right, Fermi, you bleaking bush. It's finished. Finished? Yeah, and you come back into my affairs again and you'll be finished. Well, I was weak now. That's all right, boy. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You's acquitted. I'm a what? You's acquitted. Acquitted? Say, who reckons they can acquit me of anything? That's all right. Forget it. Just made a mistake, that's all. Boy, and I saw you sneaking up those stairs. I sure thought you was hiding something I'm looking for. Yeah? Well, anything I keep in my own place is my own business, see? All right, all right. I just got to keep my eyes open, that's all. Yes, and if Joe wants to bust into people's rooms now, he can bust into people's rooms, see? Sure, he can do the same as any other policeman can. You think yourself lucky you weren't arrested. Arrested? Since when have they made Joe a cop? Why, since they pinched that little fellow off the liner. Hey, what's that? Oh, don't take any notice of him. Of course I'm not a cop. What, little fella? That's what I'm keeping to myself. Oh, so there's a little kid been pinched off a liner, and you're the only guy who can track him out, eh? <laughs> See, ain't they giving him no badge? Oh, cut it out, will you? Okay, Sergeant. <laughs> Howdy, big fella. Hello, Manda. Why didn't you come in earlier? I've been tending to some business. Oh, so your boyfriend here's been taking you around. What, that big stiff? Not likely. Dad, I have seen one funny thing with Mr. Spike this evening. Now you keep your trap shut about that. All right, you? sister. <laughs> Say, where is everybody? Have they stopped selling drinks in this joint? Meow. Meow. You had to blast it, yeah. Been on the top. Don't you have to take the plate with you. Sit down, let's have a drink. Come on. Oh, come on. Sit down, let's have a drink. I'll get them for you. What do you want? You know what the boys have. Get one for Spike. What do you say, fellas? Let's hear that music. <laughs> so because I've taken a stray, you think I'm soft, eh? You were soft long before that. <laughs> How about this fella? He's the one who wants to have the milk. He's collecting babies. <laughs> Talk about me and stray kittens. How about him and stray kids? <laughs> Come on, Philip. Say, wait a minute. You're not letting out about that, are you? See? Kind of modest, ain't he? Shall I tell you something? Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any of you gentlemen kidnap a little boy? Because <laughs> you better mind your step when Joe's around. He's mighty near being a cop now. <laughs> You want to take my fingerprints? <laughs> oh, quit your fooling. Just because the cops asked me to give him a little advice? <laughs> Why don't you people pipe down? You ought to show more respect. Supposing his buddy, the commissaire, was to come in. Why, here... Hey, Spike, your kitty wants to be fed. <laughs> enough till you came in. What sort of a cop do you think you are? Please, ma'am, don't bring that up again. Every time you and Spike get friendly, something gets broken. Well, how do you know those guys are going to start lambing each other? Well, if it's roughhousing you're looking for, come to me. I'll give you all you want. Say, if he wants to make a noise, I'll fix him. This way, big fella. Hey, boys, what do you want to hear? Roll over, oh, man. Oh, the heart.
double shocks. They lie in wait as they prowl around by the big dock gate. They're all lined up for an easy job. For a sailor man is easy to rob. It's roll up, sailor man. You're everybody's friend. The moment that you land upon the shore, roll up, sailor. When you've got a dime to spend, you're just the man your pals are waiting for. Buy them beer and get 'em singing. Lead the chorus with a roar. But it's crammed. When your money's at an end, go off with you to sea and earn some more. Roll up, sailor, and from all the rotten scum, the moment that you land upon the shore. It's roll up, sailor, you can pay for all the rum, so nobody will have to hold them And runners rob your pocket while you're helpless on the floor. And it's crammed, you sailor, and the hell of kingdom come. You're just a fool. The shops are waiting for. Blooming fools, ain't they? Who is? These here fish. They are really, when you come to think of it. I don't know about that, but they sure gonna make a good dinner after a while. Well, that's what I meant. That's why, isn't it? I don't get what you're driving at. Well, they think they've got something to eat, and we've got something to eat. Good bait too, ain't it, Joe? Yeah, that's the trouble. Well, good bait ain't no trouble, is it? Well, you know, folks go swimming around, happy, enjoying themselves, and taking what comes along, until suddenly. Something's dangled in front of them that looks mighty tasty. They grabs at it, and before they know what's up, they stuck on a hook. And then where are they? Wishing they'd left it alone. Don't see how there could be a hook in that 50,000 francs he was after. Ah, uh, forget it. What's use looking for a needle in a haystack, anyway? Yes, Robert, if you was to wipe up all that dough, some of those blokes that was taking the rice out of you last night wouldn't half be sticking in a few hooks. Yes. That's just how it would be. Oh, you fella, me lad. Look what you've done. You must have a bashing of a blinking battle. I'm awfully sorry, but I didn't see it. All right, young fella. You run along before I smack your bottom. And the next time you want to look... Hey, come here. What's your name? Oh, I haven't got a name. Uh, let me go. You haven't got a name? Hey, Chuck Corney, come here. Well, if this don't beat the band. By golly, if it ain't him, the English kid. The one you got the picture of. Looks like it to me. That's all right, son. We're friends of yours. You're the elephant kid, aren't you? No, no, I'm not. I don't know who he is. My name isn't Gerald. It's Jim. I live with the other boys. Let me go. Uh, no, you don't, son. We know all about you. Well, I've seen your daddy and your ma. They think you're pinched. I'm not going back to them. Leave me alone. Francois, Doc, and Libby. Rescue. Help me get away. Yes, what you do? It's right off. Rescue. Leave me away. Hey, what's the help? Oh, you're right. 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 He ain't got no clothes now. That little rascal threw him in the water. Well, I'll get some of mine and take him over to my place. Oh, no, you won't. <laughs> oh, no, let me go. No, you won't. No, let me go. Oh, let me go. Oh, let me go. Oh, let me go. Where are you taking me to? Let me go. Let me go. Hello. Say, big fella, what do you got there? Can I come in a minute? Sure. Oh, look, now, 
why you've gone and mucked everything up. Say, what's this? The kid. What kid? Gerald Oliphant. What pleased to know you, Mr. Oliphant. Say, but who is he anyway? You know, the little boy they thought was pinched, taking him back to his folks. No fear, I'm not going back. And I wasn't stolen. I ran away. You ran away? What, all of your own accord? You bet. What'd you do that for? Your folks are rich, aren't they? Did you have everything you wanted? No, I didn't. That was the trouble. I wanted to enjoy myself like other boys. I'm going to be a sailor when I grow up. Had a fine time since I've been down with the boys. Nibby and Francois and Darkie. They're real men, they are. Nibby's all over bruises. Got a lovely one on his knee. Francois, he can blow his nose without a handkerchief. Do you think they'd let me do things like that? No fear. Well, I think I'd better be going back to the boys now. It's just what you're not going to do, young fella. You're going back where you belong. Bet you don't. No. But you can't take him back looking like he's just been born. That's why I brought him here first. I've got to bring him out in something. Oh, please, don't take me back. If you do, they'll only start fussing worse than ever. Well, I, I don't know. There you are. <laughs> See what we found? Sure, but how'd you get on his track? We didn't have to do no tracking. He came like manna from heaven. Well, what are you going to buy some clothes for him? Shall I go to your room and get some of yours, Joe? <laughs> I don't exactly think they'd fit him. <laughs> Couldn't they be cut on? Yes, I know. Cut off a leg of his trousers to make him an overcoat. Eh? Don't talk wet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe I can do something. Uh, Corny, hand me those scissors over there. Why didn't you leave me alone where I was? You enjoy yourself, don't you? You're not always having your ears washed and being baths that you smell nice. Oh, come on. Be a sport. It's nothing to do with us. I've been asked to take you back to your mammy and you're going back. Come over here, young fella. Let's fix you up in these. Yes, but they're girls' clothes. But you can't go around like that with a lady about. These other fellas don't. All right, then. That's fine. Come on, let's get going. Now, wait a minute. You said they think I was stolen. All right. I'll say I was. Yes, I will. I'll say you came and took me when I was asleep and that you've been hiding me away. He's out for a little, and ain't he? What's the good of doing that? They wouldn't believe you. Wouldn't they? You see. I'll tell my mother, and she knows I never tell lies. You see what will happen then. Come on and get your trousers on. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't do a thing like that, would you? I will. <laughs> if you take me back like this, I'll say you stole my clothes and sold them for money. If they ask you where they are, you won't be able to show them. See? I'm tough, I am. Here, yeah, I don't like the sound of that. What do you mean? You're not going to let him scare you. You jolly well wait and see. You wouldn't get us fellas into trouble, would you? We ain't done nothing to you. I will. I'll think up everything I can think of. And I'll tell it all to the police. Crumbs, I believe the little devil would, too. They wouldn't take any notice of him. What if they wouldn't take no notice of us? By golly, you are right. I wouldn't trust them. The lies they believed about me sometime. Well, there was nearly lies anyway. What do you want me to do, then? Just let me go, that's all. They won't say anything about it. Here, I am going to take him back, only be asking for trouble. Nor me neither. If they're looking for kidnappers, they won't hesitate to make us dem. I'm beginning to wish we hadn't found him. Look here, young fella. Make up your mind. Do you mean you want to go back to those little Arabs? Yes, that's it. I want to... Oh, wait a minute, though. I might get caught again. I see. I've got a good idea. I think I'll stay here. What? Yes, that's what I'll do. I think I could have some fun with you. Are you a sailor? No, I have been, but... Say, what do you mean you want to stay here? You can't do that. Oh, can't I? If you don't let me, you know what I'll do. Well, this is her place. Why, isn't she your wife? Say, wait a minute, fella. You've been going pretty fast, but you can just lay off that. <laughs> <laughs> promise you won't give me away, and I'll promise I won't give you away. Well, of all the blinking nerve. You oughtn't do this to us. Now, come on, promise. I know what. I'll make you bumpties. You're going to make us what? Bumpties. That's my secret society. All the boys down at the docks are called bumpties now. That's why they didn't give me away. What are you talking about, secret societies? Come on, you better learn the bumpty sign. Then it'll be on a bright. Put it there. You do the same. Now the other one. Now say, bumpty, I swear. Bumpty, I, I swear. And couldn't I? <laughs> 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 That's right, hit him. No, wait until he drops his hand, then hit him. That's the idea. <laughs> oh, did I hurt you? No, no. The next time, keep your arms up so I can't hit you back. Like this, see? That's the style. He'll keep on like that. He'll soon be a sailor. <laughs> Ouch! 
Oh, I am sorry. No, that's all right. What are you taking those off for? I think we'd better stop, or I really will hurt you. Then you would send me home, wouldn't you? Yes. That's what I ought to be doing by right. You know, son, you can't go on staying here. You've got to remember your folks would be worrying about you. Oh, very well for you to want to strike out on your own, but... You ran away when you were my age. You told me so. I know. It's got nothing to do with it. What did your folks say when you ran away? I don't know. I haven't seen him to ask him. Anyway, that's different. I can't see why you want to stop here. You've got a nice big ship to sail in with your mummy and your dad. Yes, but there's not much fun in that. Oh, I wish I could grow up and do as I like. I wouldn't be in too much of a hurry for that, son. It's only when you're a man that you know how grand it is to be a little boy. Yes, but it's such a long time to wait. I remember I used to talk like that when I wasn't even as big a fellow as you are. My mammy called it reaching for the moon. She used to sing me a song about it. Oh, my baby, my curly-headed baby, we'll sit below the sky and sing a song to the moon. Curly-headed baby, your daddy's in the cotton field, awaken late and soon. So la 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 bye bye. Does you want the moon to play with, or the stars to run away with? They'll come if you don't cry. So la 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 bye bye. In your mammy's arms be creeping, and soon you'll be a sleeping. La 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 Curly-headed baby, I'll sing you fast asleep and love you so as I sing. Oh, my baby, my curly-headed baby, just tuck your head like little bird beneath its mammy's wing. So la 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 bye bye. Does you want the moon to play with, or the stars to run away with? They'll come if you don't cry. So la 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 bye bye. In your mammy's arms be creeping, and soon you'll be a sleeping. La 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 Come on, you little rascal. Get your clothes off and get into bed. You're going to let me stay here, then? Well, that seems to be the idea. Here, I've been preaching like a Dutch uncle all evening, and now you've let me down. Go on. You knew he was going to stay anyway. Come on, hop into bed. Well, I think I'll have some more... Oh, no, you won't. You just get right into bed. Gee, what a fine bed this is. Well, it'll do anyway, for the time being. Hurry up now, I've got to be going. Well, what about some pajamas? What are you going to do about that? Do you wear such things? You mind your own business. <laughs> Here, put this on. Gosh, I ought to be down to the cafe by now. That old frog will be raising the roof. I don't think I'll come along tonight. Just hang around in my room in case the kid wakes up and feels lonely. I don't look much like a sailor in this, do I? <laughs> oh, I haven't said my prayers. Sailors always say their prayers, don't they? Sure. Do you say yours? Yeah. All right, you say them with me. Go on, it won't hurt you. God bless Mother and Father, and Joe and Manda, and Mr. Chuck and Mr. Corney. And please, God, don't let the police find me. Oh, and God bless Joe. Amen.
for not saying amen. Nice fella. All right, in you go. You're not frightened of being alone, are you? You know I've got to sing down at the cafe. No, I think it's grand being here. Well, good night, you son of a gun. Good night, fella. If you want anything, I'll be just across the way. So you're not coming down with the boys tonight? No, I think I'll stay here this evening anyway. Well, that kid certainly put one over on you. <laughs> if it wasn't that he got you in a jam, it would certainly strike me as being very funny. What do you mean, got me in a jam? Well, you've kidnapped him, haven't you? Me kidnapped him? Seems more like he's kidnapped me. <laughs> you better not let any of your police friends find him here. I can just imagine myself now walking all the way down to see in the jail. Would you do that? Well, I've never seen inside a jail. You don't mind my not coming along, do you? Why should I mind? It doesn't make any difference to me, except perhaps there might be a bit more room. Suppose it won't worry you having the little fellow to look after. Worry me? I could look after a much bigger fellow than that and not worry. How you sing it, isn't it? No. How does it go? Well, uh... Do they mind people kicking up a row here? I don't think so. Why? Well, will you sing it right through for me? Properly? All right. You listen, then. Well, si les bonnes cacahuètes, est-ce qu'ils pensent qu'on fait Je vais manger comme un singe. Voici les bonnes cacahuètes. Tout le monde découvrira tout à coup. Qu'elles sont spécialement faites à son goût. Ça verra ce qu'il y a viande comme vous aimerez si friand de cacouette. En voulez-vous? They are peanuts, my English friend, to you. So you have no news of the little English boy, huh? No. No news at all. Eh bien, you will keep your eyes open. You will not forget, huh? Oh, no, I, I won't forget. I always keep my eyes open. And we, uh, we keep our eyes open, too, eh? Have you seen anything? Oh, yes. <laughs> we have seen a lot of things. And when we are ready, we will close the net. If you found the scoundrel, we make it hot for him. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Now, Alphonse, you still think we find the poor little fellow around the cafe. But for me, I say no. It is in some room that we will find him, I think. Perhaps a, a room like this, eh? Who knows? <laughs> but there are not many hiding places in Marseille that we do not know. <laughs> Very soon we will find the villain. And then he get the clink, you get the money, we get the credit, everybody happy. It sounds fine to me. So you look for him, we look for him, but I think we find him first. <laughs> Bonjour, mon vieux. Oh. Bonjour, mademoiselle. <laughs> tonight? <laughs> what 
wrong with the Montevideo tonight? Have they thrown you out already? No. I like to see some of these cheap dives occasionally. Here, you better keep your eye on that fella over there. He hopes to get 50,000 francs. He hopes. Well, in the meantime, let's get a drink out of it. Sure. Going to buy a drink for a lady? Sure, why not? Put me a glass of champagne and none of your cheap stuff. Why don't you come to the Montevideo sometime? Lot of fun over there, you know. The boys have a lot of fun just knocking around here. Yes, and it ain't so heavy on the spot and doodics. No, and it doesn't cost so much money either. Haven't you found that kid yet, Joe? Oh, come on, forget it, will you? Thank you, buddy. That's good stuff. <laughs> come on, kid. <laughs> Any of you boys seen Manda? She ought to have been here by now. Perhaps she's just looking after you. Perhaps she's just looking after herself. Well, she'd better look after herself. She doesn't want to get fired. Can't fire Manda. You'd close your place in a week. Oh, you think so, do you? Well, what I won't say to that girl when she does come is nobody's business. Well, come along, Manda. Where you been all evening? I'm sorry I'm late. Anything wrong? No, but, but I'd like to speak to the boys just a minute. Then I'll be ready. What's the matter? He's gone. You mean the kid? Yes, when I went back to change a little while ago, he wasn't there. And his clothes are gone, too. Looks like he's bolted again. Don't like the sound of that. Well, don't do anything yet. I'll go and do my number, then I'll come back and talk to you. Now we are in a suit. Do you think he's gone back to his fort? No, I don't think he'd do that. Perhaps someone else has found him up here. What do you mean? Shh. Little Amanda stop singing. Harlem, can't you leave me alone? Why do you stay in my mind? I left you flat, went away on my own. But it's just no use I find. Harlem, why do you call? I've wandered too far. Can't come back at all, I know I left. So smart, but you're calling me Harlem. You're still in my heart. I told you, Harlem, you are too small for someone like me. I'm crazy, that's all, and I've been sorry right from the start. Cause Harlem, you're still in my heart. I thought I wanted the world I meant to have it all too But now I know that the world Begins and ends for me round Lenox Avenue Oh, Harlem, I didn't know When I went away I'd long for you so I want to go back Never to part Cause Harlem, you're still in my heart Say, I'm worried about that kid. What are we gonna do? It's all right, he's here. Say, what are you doing here? I thought I left you home in bed. You don't seem badly, my dear. Why don't you buy her a drink, too? Well, since when have you been a waitress here? Oh, this place wants waking up. See you later.
Yeah, two days he was shut away in that cellar with a bunch of dagos keeping him hid. Six of them. And were they tough? Two of them I knocks out, grabs the little boy and punches my way through. And I'm lucky to be here now. It isn't true. I wasn't in any cellar. I was with Joe and the boys. Don't believe him. Darling, you mustn't say that. Oh, thank heaven we've got you back. In spite of those dreadful clothes they put you in, Mummy knew some horrible men had got you. Oh, but I wasn't kidnapped. They weren't horrible. They were jolly good. I made them bumpjees. Bumpjees? Maybe he's a little light-headed. He's been through it a bit. We've been through it together, ain't we, son? Don't you touch me. It's all fibs you're saying. Oh, you must forgive him. He's been so upset. Daddy, don't listen to him. Now, Gerald, don't get so excited. Half a dozen of them were there. Did you hear that, my dear? Jolly plucky, I call it. Oh, that's nothing. I've been in tougher spots. Well, if a mother's blessing will yeah, reward you. Sure, thank you, lady, but wasn't there a little method of... Uh, really, we're most extremely grateful. Don't know how to express it. Yeah, that's okay, but I read something Darling, somewhere. you must remember him in your prayers. Not likely. He's nothing else but a big fibber. Well, can I collect? Collect? What? He means the récompense, monsieur. The reward. That's it, n'est-ce pas? Well, when a guy's been through what I've been through... All right, all right, we know. Why, of course, of course, jolly pleased. Brought it down here directly I knew the boy was safe. Don't give him any money. He didn't do anything. All he did was... Be quiet, Gerald. 50,000 francs. I don't grudge a penny of it. Not a sou. Qu'est-ce que c'est? He was the one that sneaked me out of the cafe. Joe found me. He's a fine chap. Well, I hate to butt in, but what the heck do you want here? You know what I want here. I got wise to you straight away. You couldn't get wise to anything. Look at him, Monsieur Commissaire. What do you want to let this guy in for? Please, the matter is settled. But that is the one, Mother. He and Manda looked after me. If this guy found him, why didn't he bring him here then? I'd have brought him here quick enough if he'd wanted to come. But I didn't want to come. What's this big bozo doing here anyway? Wait until I put you outside and I'll tell them. Put me outside, would you? <laughs> why, I wipe the floor with you. Go on, Joe, give him a walloping. Silence. How dare you behave like that in my office? And you, you have your money. Then go and settle your affair outside. If you think you can get away with this, don't worry. I am getting away with it. Honest Doe. Yes, and the poor kid. He didn't want to go back. Well, that's his business. Yes, and that Doe's my business. Yeah? Well, we don't want to fall out over this. You know, you boys got me all wrong. I only wanted to get outside so we could fix a share out. What about uh, meeting a bit later and talking it over? Let's talk it over now. All right, then, Joe. 50-50. Um, I know a nice little place where we can go and, uh, and uh, cut it up. <laughs> Come on, boys. Did you get it? Come on in, boys. Sit yourselves down. Had a bit of luck this evening, kid. I'm just going to share in on some dough with the boys. So you want a little drink, eh? That's all. I fixed some. It's coming up. Make yourselves to home. Any friend of Joe's is a friend of mine. You didn't think I was the sort of guy that only looked after himself, did you? No, sir. I seen you were shy uh, taking the kid back to the station. So I did it for you. That's all. Okay? All right, then we'll split fair. One. One. Pass on the drinks, kid. Look out, my gentleman friend. All right. One. There you are, Joe. Any friend of Spike's can get anything he wants. Sure. That's me all over. I knew you was too soft hard to take that kid back. That's what I like about you, Joe. You're so very soft-hearted. You know, you fellas have got me all wrong. Because I'm a soft-hearted fella, too. Well, kid was having such fun. Seemed a pity to spoil it for him. Yeah, but we got to look after ourselves. Say, that's a nice little one, ain't it? Now, you two boys, I'm not going to leave you in the cold. Here you are. Now, we're all in luck. Boy, the world's my friend. Yes, but... Uh... Don't thank me. You're welcome. Well, let's get out of the cafe and have a little party, eh? That's the idea. What about it, Joe? You coming along, too? You bet I am. We'll get a couple of drinks with this anyhow. Wait a minute, Joe. You don't want to go back with that cheap little dive, do you? You've got plenty of money. 
Why not come with us and make whoopee, eh? Oh, I don't know. Oh, do come with us. We'll take you to a nice place. What, the Monte video? Bit too posh for us. Yeah, it sure is. Why, well, it costs you 20 francs to hang your hat up in there, don't it? You needn't come if you don't want to. Well, maybe you boys wouldn't like it. Joe's going to step up with us for a bit. He'll see you later. Oh, sure, my lad. Come on, Connie. Yes, I think I'd like to go along with the boys. You're not nervous of stepping out a little, are you? Oh, of course not. Who's stopping you? You haven't got to ask anybody, do you? I'm not tied to anybody's apron strings. I do what I like and go where I like. Oh, you Mississippi, why do you keep taking them away? Those fields of cotton, this old plantation, somehow they know it must be. When they see that steamer taking folks to Harlem, river steals my folks from me. You hear that steamer down on the levee, it leaves me sad as can be. Oh, I know that steamer's taking folks to Harlem, the river steals my folks from me. My little children grow up and leave me. They seem to think they'll be free. So they board that steamer heading off to Harlem. The river steals my folks from me. Oh, you Mississippi, can't you hear me pray? Somehow they know it must be When they see that steamer Taking folks to Harlem River steals my folks from me Well, I expect he'll turn up in the morning I shouldn't worry Why should I worry? Joe can go where he likes and do what he likes. He's not tied to my apron strings. Good night, boys. Well, here's to a very good evening. size when you came in here. Well, don't you understand? Sure, I... I understand, and I can say it for you, too. You were just coming back from the share out when you happened to pass by the Montevideo, and Spike asked you in for a few minutes. He's such a swell guy, you couldn't let him down, so you've been around holding him up all night. <laughs> That's grand. Well, I ain't never going out on a jag with that Spike no more. Of course you're not, now that he's cleaned you out of all your money. He didn't do nothing like that. He didn't have to. With that dame of his around, all he has to do is sit back and watch her do her knitting. Oh, no. Don't. I know. She happened to leave just before the party began, but it was just too bad that she turned up again. What do you want to get sore at her? You know, she's not the kind that appeals to me. It wouldn't break my heart if she did. Just because they're making a suck out of you, you're not going to make one out of me. Now, get out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face. You big, overgrown bull. Get out. Now 
Come in, Gerald. You'd better get back into bed or you'll catch cold. No, I'd rather look out of here. I'm all right. Well, would you like to get dressed then? If I do, can I go down and see the boys? Darling, you know your mother wouldn't like that. No, but I should. Now, do try a little of this. It's very nice. Nanny likes it. All right, you can have it then. Oh, dear, dear. I don't care what you say, Ferdy. He's never been like this before. They must have ill-treated him. But he wouldn't want to go back, my dear, if they uh, had. He hasn't got a temperature, madam. Good. But he still won't eat anything. All he wants to do is sit and look out of the window. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. He'll be really ill soon. Good morning. Oh, do come in, Doctor. Well, how is he? Well, he hardly slept at all again last night. He's right off his food, you know. He hasn't got a temperature, though. I've just tried it. Oh, well, suppose I have a few words with him alone. Perhaps I could do something. Well, young fellow, my lad, how are you? Mother's only just outside, darling, if you want her. He'll be all right with you, won't he, Doctor? Why, of course. Now we can have a much better chat on our own, can't we? I don't believe in worrying a chap about food when he's not feeling fit. I wish they wouldn't either. Well, perhaps they don't understand. Now, I'm a sailor and I like to get things straight. Now, just what is the matter? You know, you're what we call swinging the lead. What's that? Well, you're not ill, really. Why didn't they leave me alone when I was having such fun? Nobody'd hurt me. Joe'd see to that. He's a fine chap. He showed me how to splice ropes and make chips. And I feel I could do anything when I was with him. Why can't I stay here with Joe and Manda? Father and Mother could stay too. And then I could see him often. Oh, but you can't stay here. We're sailing tomorrow morning. Well, if I die before we get home, they'll all be sorry and it won't be my fault. Well, 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 we can't have you dying, can we? We better do something about that. In the meantime, you try and tuck into some of that grub. Well, Doctor, what can we do? Do you think a specialist or something? I may as well tell you what's the matter with that boy. He's been spoilt all his life. He's been used to having everything he wants, and now he can't get it. That's the whole trouble. He's obviously taken a violent fancy to this fellow they call Joe, and he's working himself up into a state of nervous prostration about it. Now, the best thing to do is to give in to him like you have before and get this fellow down here to see him, and then perhaps he'll settle down and return to normal again. You're sure of that, Doctor? That's my advice. Go and get him, Ferdy, and bring him straight back here. Now, pay him anything he wants, but please be quick. Oh, there you are. There's a gentleman outside looking for you. It's young Jerry's father. He says the kid's ill and he's been asking to see you. The little fellow's ill? Sure, I'll come right away. Here he is. Joe! Hello, boy. How are you? Daddy, be quiet. You know you always excite him. Well, I'll, I'll leave you two together. How did you get here? Oh, I am pleased to see you. I'm certainly glad somebody's glad to see me. Oh, this is fine. What's this they tell me about you being very ill? Oh, I'm all right. But I couldn't sleep. I was wondering how you and the boys were. Oh, we've just been knocking around, you know. Did you get the money? You know for finding me. Oh, yes. I, I got some of the money, all right. Have a good time. Oh, no. We don't want to talk about that. Tell me, what you been doing with yourself? I don't know. I I just couldn't eat anything. Well, that looks pretty good to me. You mean to say you don't like that? No. Can I have one? Yes, rather. She yeah, sure is good. Don't you want one, too? All right. <laughs> What's in there? That's barley water. Barley water? Can I have some? Yes. You want some, too? All right. I sure needed that. It's the best drink I had in a long time. Do you want another one? All right. How's Manda? She's all right. Corny and Chuck. Fine. You were surprised when I came down to the cafe that night, weren't you? I certainly was. Remember that night when we were looking out of the window? You told me about the lights. Sure was fun, wasn't it?
What was that song you used to sing to me? Was that? That was only a little baby song. Oh, I see. Not for a chap like me. No. I've got something else to tell you. Now you listen, little fella, before you goes to sleep, because I'm talking like your pappy would. Giving you advice that a little boy should keep if he's gonna grow up to be good. I ain't a gonna scold you, don't you fear? Just making some suggestions like these here. Now, you didn't ought to fight no more. With that little boy who lives next door, told to love our neighbors if mercy we would win. And how is he gonna love you if you kick him in the shin? No, kicking little boys ain't nice. Use your fist, that's my advice. It ain't that I expects to see you sprouting little wings, but didn't ought to do such things. Now you didn't ought to eat your grub, little hands that you can't scrub, and eating with your fingers. Shouldn't do no more. Cause will you kindly tell me just what a knife is for? <laughs> a gentleman, he don't appear. With watermelon in his ear? I know it's the kind of fruit that naturally just clings, but you didn't ought to do such things. And you didn't ought to eat no pies. Look at me with angel eyes. But if you steal them, eat them just as quickly as you can. And if you're caught, don't lie, take your licking like a man. You know the stealing pie is a crime, especially if you're caught each time. Bless my soul, is you asleep while this advice I bring? Shucks, you didn't ought to do such things. Oh, he's going to settle down all right. Hey, well, my dear, what did I tell you? You know this is jolly good of you. Well, I suppose he just took a fancy to me. Yes, and it is so good of you to come. We've had such trouble with him. Did you get him to eat anything? Sure, he had a couple of those sandwiches. <laughs> I had one myself. Hope you don't mind. Oh, not a bit. Well, I, I guess I'd better be getting along. Well, what? Oh, oh j just a moment. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. I don't want to be paid just for looking up one of my pals. The little fellow says you might be coming back one holiday. Maybe he'll look me up. One never knows. You're sailing with the tide early tomorrow morning, aren't you? Yes. Shan't be sorry either, by Joe. Do you know, I, I wouldn't mind if you were coming with us. Of course. Why not? Why shouldn't he? He'd be a great help. My word, that's an idea. Yes. I say, what about it? What about it? You mean, go back to England with you? Yes, you could come as Gerald's companion or something. Yes, we, we'd give you a decent wage. You could have your own quarters and all that sort of thing. Well, I don't know whether I could do that. You haven't got any ties, have you? Ties, my dear, ties. Oh, you mean ties. You mean if I got any folks? I mean you're not engaged or married or anything. Me? No. I'm not walking out with anybody. If I want to go somewhere, I can just go. Well, it'd be a regular job and you could... Uh... I say, what do you do here? Oh, I've got a little place. It brings me in enough. After all, why shouldn't I go? If I can be of some help to the little fella, I... Splendid! Now then, Ferdy, you go back into the town with him and do some quick shopping. Oh, fill him up, fill him up! No, thanks. No more for me. Good luck, Joe. Except that you's going away. I wouldn't mind if you's going away every night. <laughs> Good luck, mister. Cheerio. <laughs> yes, Joe, you probably fall on your feet this time. <laughs> <laughs> Tickles me to think of Joe looking after a kid. Well, maybe you'll understand looking after a kid better than... Better than what? <laughs> oh, nothing. Hello there. It looks like I was just in time. Good evening, Mr. Oliphant. I heard you were throwing a farewell party. Oh, come on, sit down. How's the good lady, your wife? Oh, she's, uh... Oh, my Godfathers! So they're going to make a nurseman of you after all? You don't start that again or I'll forget me good manners. Ah, oh, Joe knows I don't mean nothing. Don't you, Joe? You don't mean nothing to me anyway. One kiss, 
such a little thing to ask, but it helps a bit to mask my heart. One kiss just to treasure through the day. After you have said our ways must pass. I know, but let's get out of here now. What though our romance becomes an ember, I'll know happiness, for I'll remember. I'm coming. Oh, listen, boys. I got a swell idea. You're all going to have a drink on me. Say, did you hear what I heard? Crumbs, he's delirious. That's right. That's right. Just one more for the ocean. Come on, go. Do you think we ought to be going along? Oh, there's lots of time. The boat doesn't sail till the morning. Come on, snap out of it. Well, see that, Joe. Come on. All right, who cares anyway? Come on, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. about being a nursemaid, huh? The boys have found him a better nursemaid than me. Holy smoke, I've been getting it! Hey, let me off of this ship! Get me off of this ship! Hey! Hey! I've been kidnapped! Well, the little fella's gone. Yes, and that leaves the big fella. And he's not such a big fella either. Had your breakfast yet? No. What have you got? You just wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> 